Yeah, I wonder what they're going to do with about the third world. They'll, they'll figure something out with that, I think. Those guys are going to figure it out. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I mean, dude, that has been... I, I think we're going to get slammed in history. Because yeah. it's like, there's, there there was a guy on Rogan basically being like, there are slaves making all the, the Congo? fucking lithium the batteries Congo, yeah. and shit. And everyone's kind of enjoying basically slave labor yeah. currently. I think they're going to look back and be like, wait, they were just like letting people starve. I think some, I think someone dies of starvation every like seven minutes or something. Yeah. So I think they're going to be like, that wasn't the nicest of everybody in the world. Just be complaining and be like, I ate too much again. My belly hurts. Some yeah, guys, like, like, I don't even want Taco Bell, but I'm going to order it. <laughs> <laughs> some Aww. guy on the other side of the world is like, my belly hurts too. <laughs> but from different stuff. Yeah, I think they're gonna, hurts, dude. I think we're going to look back on that and go, ooh, that was tough. Noah, why are your eyes so big sharing information? Yeah, what you got? Do you guys want to guess how many people die each day from starvation? Uh, I'm going to go 15,000. In the world. 15,000 maybe? Shane? I'll stick with Matt. I like that. 25,000 ah. people, including 10,000 children. So 15,000 adults die every day of starvation. And 10,000 kids? Yes. Yikes. God, it's a tough way to go. Yeah, and then there's like a whole bunch of people who aren't dying, or like literally dying from it, but are like being... Yeah. 3.1 million children die a year of starvation. Jeez, man, that's pretty bad. Nearly half of them under the age of five. Oh, terrible. <laughs> terrible. I'm telling you. And I didn't even get extra chicken in my fucking sweet green. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Negativity is... Yeah, you gotta, it'll get you. Yeah, you gotta bring it up. Yeah, they did. That's there's a whole fuck. What's this guy's name? Marty Seligman, I think. And that that was his whole field of study was like figuring out basically that people default to just negative interpretations of events, and you become that becomes your autopilot of how you interpret everything that's happening to you. And they were saying like overwhelmingly, those people become clinically depressed. Yeah, but then they were saying like you can compl the Apollonian state is going. Wait a second, I don't have to be miserable about this. Or like yeah. basically knowing that things aren't permanent. You can be like, well, yeah, this sucks, but this won't be permanent. That's the, that's apparently the hallmark of people who are clinically depressed. They go, and it's never going to end. And it's like, yeah. you're just making, you're literally just making that. You have It'll no pass. idea. You have It'll no pass. idea. Yeah, exactly. Until but, it doesn't. And then you die and then it passes. Exactly. Eventually it passes. It does. Yeah, I've been less and less rattled by death as I get older. Like significantly less rattled by death. I mean, mm. again... Obviously, if like someone came in with their gun, I'd be scared. Yeah. Like it used to like get me in my quieter moments being like, Ooh, and now I'm just kind of like, yeah, man, I'm fucking. Yeah. Doosh. <laughs> Doosh. For sure. One day I'm going <laughs> to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I get sad about other people. I, I'm more sad. sad thinking about you dying than me. You th Really? That's a sweet it's thing kind of to a say. Bummer. Yeah. That's it's a, a bummer thing thinking that you're going to be fucking dirt someday. Yeah. I might not. You'll never die. <laughs> you think you might upload? You might get a clone, dude. I might you get, might get a clone. They might be like, he was on to something. We've got to say it. Did you hear Emancipation Barclamation? <laughs> Build a time machine. Bring him back. <laughs> bring him into the future. You're going to submit your 23 and me, and they're going to say, take that Store one. Store that one. So that's going to be a, they're gonna be like a little like futuristic bi like biological technology in a metal briefcase. Yeah. <laughs> Some guys have to fight people off the submachine with lasers, gun. dude. We gotta and recreate. Glasses. We gotta recreate the proclamation. Proclamation. <laughs> Whoever came up with that, where the robots have taken over. Only the best sense of humor can stop them. <laughs> Who's the guy who said emancipation? Barclamation. <laughs> <laughs> Golly, I'm telling you, man. Gosh, dude, I was telling you. I was telling you on the way over here. If you think about it, how much better than silence is this podcast? It's so much better I than told silence. You, it's for real. It's so much better it's than 50 -50. silence. 50-50. Although silence can be tight. 